I'm gonna show you a crazy editing hack that's gonna save you hours of clipping live stream footage by adding markers to OBS recordings and then using this free tool to automatically convert those markers into clips in DaVinci Resolve. One of the most time consuming aspects of editing a live stream is searching through hours of footage to find the best highlights. So we're gonna solve this right now with a brand new workflow that I'm gonna show you step by step in this video. All of the software and tools that I'm going to use are 100% free and I'll put the links for everyone and everything that I mentioned in this video in the description below. Now, all of this has only become possible very recently because of two huge releases. First, OBS got a new beta update, which allows us to add markers with keyboard hotkeys. So that's the first piece of the puzzle. And second, YouTuber Asher Roland has released this free tool called Marker Trimmer for DaVinci Resolve. And that's what's going to auto cut all of our markers for us. So combining these two things, we've got one hell of a workflow upgrade for DaVinci Resolve editors. First step, let's download OBS 30.2. Open your settings and go to output. Set recording format to hybrid MP4. It has to be hybrid MP4 for this to work. Then go to hotkeys, look for add chapter marker and add a hotkey that you want to use. Little side note here, Rodney has already created a beta chapter hotkey plugin that lets you create additional named chapters. And you can add chapter names for things like gameplay highlights, donations, raids, etc. And then they will show up here in your hotkeys. I think that we can expect to see a lot of new tools coming in the very near future that will automatically add these chapter markers for you by detecting what's happening in your stream. But for now, let's just use the default chapter marker hotkey built into this OBS update. So I'm gonna use the back tick as my hotkey because it's sort of out of the way here in the top corner and it's gonna be easy to find without looking. So I'm gonna record some gameplay and I'll just hit this hotkey at any of the moments that I wanna clip. Okay, step two, we need to go to YouTuber Asher Rowland's page. We work together on the paper animator version two upgrade, and he just makes incredible tools and tutorials for DaVinci Resolve. You'll find his website here in his bio, and we can download the marker trimmer. If you wanna support Asher as well as get more features, you can always grab the paid version. Both free and paid versions will work for what we're doing in this video. Once you download the marker trimmer, you'll get a .lua file. In DaVinci Resolve under workspace, go to console, and now you can just drag in the .lua file right here to install it. Okay, step three, bring in your hybrid MP4 footage into DaVinci Resolve. And you will see it comes with a little arrow beside the file name. And if we expand it, we can see all the markers that we just created in OBS. So now we can drag this into our timeline and you'll see the markers appear here on our clip. Now to run our marker trimmer script, we can go to workspace, scripts, marker trimmer, we want to choose video track one. The padding is how many seconds on each side of the marker we want to cut. Include original audio, we'll leave that on. Protect overlapping clips. This option will place clips that are too close together onto new tracks so they don't overlap. And that's very cool, but we'll just leave everything on one track for now. We can choose clip markers, timeline, or both. We're using clip markers, so we'll leave that. Now we can press cut, and now it automatically edits those markers into clips for us. So awesome. Okay, now here's a cool additional workflow tip that I like to do. Let's select all of our new clips and change the color. With those clips still selected and holding down the Alt key, we'll press arrow down to move these clips down onto our original footage and then back up again. And now let's cut our new clips and paste them in a new timeline. We'll press Alt Delete to remove all the gaps. And now we have all our clips ready to edit our new YouTube video. But here's the cool bonus. If we're still missing a clip that we need to go searching for, we've now eliminated any of the existing clips that we're already using. So that's it. I hope you found it helpful. Please keep in mind this OBS update is in beta, so you know there may be some bugs. But for certain streamers who edit with DaVinci Resolve or editors who are dealing with a lot of live stream footage, this is going to be really, really exciting. And we're definitely in the early days of this. So I can't wait to hear what you guys think. And I can't wait to hear any improvements that you would make to this workflow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.